It's one thing to algorithmically push pixels around, or even molten plastic and such for that matter, but it'll be quite another thing altogether when it's atoms. Much of my recent work is a form of future studies, speculating regarding how we might eventually assemble things from the atom up, give rise to near-about CASA systems for controlling the structure of matter itself, bring about abundance, as is hoped, or even produce programmable matter. So in an outreach effort, I set out to increase awareness of this imminent object shock and provide viewers a sense of how hacking matter happens. I started modifying and manipulating molecular modeling software. I sculpt virtual nanoscaled structures, atom by amino, and appropriate files too, uh, protein data bank, junk DNA sculptural origami, and novel uh, nanomolecular machine component files, and I overprocess them, ornamentally challenging models by writing Python scripts to algorithmically automate alternative formal derivations, fractalize aminos off forms to perform generative crystallography, code for crazy carbon chaining, deform meshes and glitch render modes and ray tracings. I sort thereafter, selecting for the most nuanced nano novelty, so to speak, and compose these 2D pigment prints I call qubit built quilts. Qubit built quilts are painterly plans for playground ball pits of pure operationality, all about an atomic admin axis privs picturesque. 3D printing is a gateway drug. That in mind, I've been, I've been hand hobbling together a bunch of RepRap 3D printers built not uh, merely to materialize my modded molecular models, but to do so while exhibiting expressionistic potential, acting more like my painting assistants. It's important to problematize prototyping at this point, to expose that which ain't yet exhausted or collapsed into fully exploitable usability in the functionalist sense. So I craft custom settings to print more like painting, to flirt with epic print fails and allow for irregularities that all but muck up my printers. The goal, of course, is to glean for artifacts, the kinds of artifacts that actualize how hot mess Molecular modeling and 3D printing translate one another. I call these species tool beings. Species tool beings are nano, non-objective, oriented, onto graphic compendia, constructed as a consequence of carpentry, serving to lay bare object-to-object -object operations. They're relief sculptures and or both collage and assemblage since some models are printed small-scale sculptural, while others are printed paper thin or impasto painterly. I use traditional pigment dispersions and acrylic binders to affix models to each other and onto substrates, and do so in an emergent manner, part by piecemeal. Then I paint much like the prints, painting in and around parts to reconcile resultant pictures. See, I, I've always thought painting ought to act like scar tissue, uh, heuristic evidence of paying dues, earning injuries, and healing. Uh, so this is as much about handicrafts as it is the hyperextended hand of the artist. Post printability of any thinginess means we won't just be saying stuff, we'll be saying in stuff itself, like thinking into, on, and across object hoods musing more like manipulating materiality. That's real-time instantiations of at-will thought forms. I claim it could come to pass that what we print is how we'll process what we are. I've, I've coined the term transubstrational in some measure to help handle this breadth of built being, because it ain't about leveling up. It's about leveling across any and many orders of scale and substrates. Thanks. <laughs>